Hey guys, it's me again, Whistler's Brother! <laughs> and I'm here with whistling tutorial number four. Uh, if you don't know how to even make a sound yet, this is not the right tutorial for you. You want to start with number one, click on the link up there. That'll take you to my first tutorial that'll teach you how to get a sound out anyway. In this tutorial, what I'm going to be covering is the subject of vibrato. <clears throat> now, you probably know what vibrato is. It basically means uh, taking the tone of a note and sort of making it vibrate. And it's actually a minor fluctuation in pitch, uh, but it's, anyway, uh, it sounds something like this. When I'm whistling, if I put vibrato on a note, it sounds like this. Okay, so basically it's accomplished with the tongue. Uh, other whistlers may do it differently. I do it with the tongue. That's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to teach you how to achieve this. Start by saying the word you, okay? If you can say the word you, like me and you, then you can do vibrato when you whistle, assuming you already know how to whistle. Okay, so now don't just say you. Now I want to keep your mouth, I want you to keep your mouth in a pucker position and say, you, 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 Okay, and don't don't move your lips when you're doing this. Just go you, 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 you. Okay, you don't have to do it that fast necessarily, but what I'm doing with my tongue when I do the word you, my tongue is going you, you, you. Actually, wait a minute, you. It's going like this: you, 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 you. Whatever, same thing. So, okay, now. When you whistle, you're going to do that same action with your tongue inside your mouth, basically. It's, it's real similar. So just go... Okay, now, here's the other thing about vibrato. Once Again, that might take some trial and error, or like a lot of things having to do with whistling. You, you know, you may have to play with it, but when you get it, you'll get it. And you'll go, oh, that was so easy. It's really not hard to do vibrato. Um, now, Here's the thing about vibrato, uh, it is highly, highly overused by whistlers, and even good whistlers, and I don't get it! I don't understand it! Stop so much vibrato! Too much! It's too much! Okay? <laughs> I'm serious, this is a huge pet peeve of mine, and I think it's one of the main reasons why so many people find whistling annoying even when they're listening to a really good whistler. The thing is, if you want your whistling to sound good and musical, don't overdo the vibrato, okay? Less is more. Less is more. Okay? Just use it sparingly. It's kind of like a kind of like a fine spice. You don't want it to overpower the flavor of the food. You just want it in there to enhance it and really bring it to life, okay? So for example, if I was going to whistle something, um, I don't know, I'm just going to make this up. Okay, I'm just adding a little bit of vibrato toward the end of some of the longer notes. I'm not doing it the entire time I'm whistling. It drives me crazy when people do that when they're whistling. I don't know about you. I think though, uh, you know, when, when you hear somebody whistling something like this, let's just say Too much! Okay? Lay off the vibrato! <laughs> Alright? You wouldn't kill the soup with, uh, by dumping a whole bottle of pepper in there. And don't do that with your vibrato either when you're whistling, okay? It just, you just, it bowls people over. So please, please, if you're watching this tutorial, I know I'm going on and on about the same subject, but really, less is more. Just really, I mean, if you listen to good classical music, you'll notice if you listen to a really skilled wind player, they don't overdo the vibrato like that. They don't do it on, on every single note like that. They do it, they ease into it on some of the longer, more sustained notes and it adds a richness to it. Again, if you're having trouble with that vibrato, just think you, 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 and then whistle. The more you move your tongue, the more it's gonna fluctuate, so a real subtle thing is good. That's the other thing, is if you overdo it on the fluctuation with your vibrato, that also is very hard on the ears. Don't do it.
That's not impressive. It just, it's blah, it's just too much, okay? So just a little bit. And by the way, that was a little bit of warbling I threw in there. If you don't know how to warble, uh, then you can check out my, I think it's tutorial number two. Anyway, if you have any questions about how to achieve the vibrato, feel free to leave me a comment on this video. And, uh, <laughs> oh man, I'm probably going to catch hell from some of my other Whistler friends from on this one, but uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay, well, that's enough of that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that your whistling is constantly improving if you're somebody who's working on your whistling. And remember, if it's not fun, you're not doing it right. Okay, sorry. I don't know. There's something wrong with me today. All right, guys. Keep on whistling. This is Whistler's Brother. <laughs> Signing off. See you later. Adios.